I'm delighted to be here at the second annual Focus on Fellows that the ADA is sponsoring with the generous support of the Helmsley Foundation. We have approximately 150 fellows from all over the country, uh, many of them in pediatric endocrinology as well as adult endocrinology. And the goal of this program is to try to introduce the fellows to the world of diabetes research that uh, is in front of them. Uh, during the course of this uh, two-day program, lecturers from all over the country, uh, active investigators, and they are focusing on issues uh, both in terms of content, specific areas of diabetes research, uh, from clinical trials to genetics. Uh, they also provide uh, important information to our uh, fellows uh, who are attending with regard to grant writing and how to sustain their funding during their career. There's been so much literature recently about physician scientists as an endangered species and the vanishing physician scientist that I think it gives people a, a false sense that they can't succeed. Our data suggests that people who apply and who persevere can be very successful. I think the most important thing that struck me this morning was I came with the notion that funding is sort of going down in the research field right now. But from the session so far, it looks like it's not that grim as I thought about, so it looks to be more promising. Well, I think it's just really helpful to have so many people who are at the forefront of diabetes come together to give us more information, give us advice, and then also I think it's been really helpful to get, um, to have one place where all of the potential opportunities are available, or I, I should say at least a lot of the potential opportunities are available, so we know what all of the options are. Um, and then also, I mean, even just finding out what a lot of the cutting edge research is, what are the clinical questions that are hot topics right now or potentially could become hot topics, all of those in one place I think is just really helpful to help with patients and tell them what's available as well. We really want to invigorate this group. We want to send them out of this meeting with renewed enthusiasm and optimism for what we hope will be a sterling careers in diabetes research.